I should be coming out of the shower looking like a glazed donut. As, as, as much money as it costs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm leaving. I don't feel like it. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Cheers to that, baby. I told you you was gonna like it over here, and now you're back again for another video. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Oh. Welcome back. Good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. It is the weekend, and your girl got some things to do. What's what's new? What's new? I feel like I always have something to do. But I love that about me. I love that about my life. I love that about, well, for the weekend. Because during the week, girl, I ain't got nothing to do besides go to work. But I love the weekends because that's my time, you know what I'm saying? To get some things done, rip and run, spend some money, all those good things. So, good morning. I already got everything set up over there because we about to make a matcha. It's been a while, I think. I think we made a Have we made a matcha in this apartment yet? <laughs> Have we been watching this apartment yet? I don't know, I think we have. But anyway, that's what we about to do. We have a long list for the day. Long, baby. So I hope you got enough time to spend with me. So let's make a matcha real quick, y'all. So for everyone that's new here, are you new here? Are you new here? Because I do have a lot of new people. So your girl like to do matcha. Sometimes I like to do coffee, but matcha is my preference for sure. So this is the matcha that I like to use. Oh, that might be too bright. This is the Jade Leaf Organic Ceremonial Matcha. This is the barista edition. It have to be ceremonial because they have the other ones that's not. So this one, I can vouch for. The other ones, I cannot. Next thing you need is this, baby. When I tell y'all I was looking all over for this, I found it at some spot called the World Market. I've never heard of that before. I've never been there before. But I looked it up on Google like because I could not find it at TJ Maxx. I went to like three TJ Maxx's. But anyway, so I found this at World Market, y'all. When I tell you, they had everything. They had all the flavors and they had so many of these. So why didn't y'all tell me that? Why y'all ain't tell me about World Market here in Houston? <laughs> this is the last ingredient, y'all, which is oat milk. Now this one is the extra creamy. Now, I did used to get the other one that was not extra creamy. It's in like a rectangular box square carton. That one is really good too, but this one just makes it extra creamy, obviously. So, this is by Khalifa Farms. Love this brand. So let's make it. I'm excited, it's been a while. <laughs> first things first, I like to do is put some water in here, heat it up for just a little bit, not too hot, not too hot. It's a little too much ice. I like a lot of matcha, y'all. I also need to get more, but I do like to do a lot. So just gonna sift it like that, you know. Ooh. I love the process of doing this as well. Like it's actually fun. Especially this part. I might not drink coffee for the whole month of September, y'all, because I've been going a little ham on coffee lately. Like, girl, I had cut back on coffee for a long time and started doing matcha. And now I'm doing both again. And we need to do, mm -mm, cut, cut that back, baby. Cut that back, baby. Especially because I put all that creamer and stuff in my coffee. So, anyway, the matcha will do for now. Now we are going to add a little bit of the hot, well, warm water. Just a little bit so far. And then, of course, I have my whisk. Yes, look at that, so cute. Just make sure y'all clean y'all whisk because some people just be rinsing it off. Make sure you clean it, clean it good too. But you don't do a lot of water, y'all, because you don't want it to be watered down. You want to really taste the matcha. I painted my own nails and toes, y'all, so don't think I want to go get my nails and toes done without y'all. It's okay, I know y'all want to be a part of it. <laughs> but I didn't um, go to the nail salon or well, yeah, the nail salon to get my nails on my toes now. So I just use my little red polish that I got at home, y'all. So if y'all see me with red polish on my nails and my toes, that means I did it at home. So this is the time where I put my pumps in there. So I do four, one, two. Let's just do three today, y'all. Let's do three. And then we mix it again. <laughs> and mix it again. 
So then we do the milk. Okay, that should be good. Now here comes the best part. Drum roll, please. That's my drum roll. <laughs> here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. So pretty, y'all. So pretty. And then we just stir it up. Give it a good stir. See how dark green that is? That is so pretty. It looks earthy, doesn't it? I know. It's supposed to look earthy looking. That's how you know you're doing a good matcha, the ceremony of matcha. All right, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all, this matcha recipe is the bomb. You have to try it. You have to try it. And if you try it, make sure you let me know. Make sure you let me know either the next video or whenever you do try it. Comment like, girl, I tried that matcha that you showed us on that vlog and it was really good. And I'm going to be like, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm going to get in the shower and then we're going to get out the shower. Wash our face. I already brushed my teeth, but I haven't washed my face yet. Um, and then, you know, kind of get ready for today. I have a lot to do. So let's go around the um, to-do list really quick. I'm going to tell y'all some things. I'm not going to tell y'all everything because you just have to stay tuned for the whole vlog. I can't just tell you everything now and then you'll be like, oh, no, that don't sound fun. So I'm going to click off. Even though you already know we're going to have fun. So y'all can't ever say that my vlogs is boring because I'm not boring. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things we have to do today. I want to go to at home. I want to go to Ulta. It's three things so far. Okay, cool. Um, I have to go to Target. I might pop my head in Walmart because I need some new pillows. I need some good quality pillows though, y'all. Like the ones that you don't have to get every couple of months. Like the ones my boo had, he paid like a hundred and something dollars for his pillows. And they are really good pillows that probably would last like over a year or so. So I don't know, I might make an investment on my pillows. Maybe not today, I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. And I might wanna get some lunch, you know. Trader Joe's, girl, we gotta go to Trader Joe's to grab a few things because the refrigerator is getting low. We're not gonna do a full blown grocery shopping, but we are gonna grab a few things for the week. And yeah, I think that was it, girl. Yeah, girl, it's back and better, y'all. I feel so good. I haven't fully moisturized yet. I'm going to do that after I cool down because I don't want to be hot and then start putting lotion on. Too hot for that. So I need to cool down and then I'll moisturize my body. But we are going to do our skincare. You know, this is what I use. I think I told y'all a thousand times. This is the Gentle Skin Cleanser Normal to Dry Skin by Cetaphil, love this. Um, I do like this too. This is when I really need like to exfoliate my skin, but this is very strong. I noticed around my eyebrows yesterday that I had like a few bumps right there, red bumps, and I had used this yesterday. That was the only thing different I put on my face. So I'm like, okay, this might be a little too strong. So we don't need to use this too many times a week. So I'm not doing that, but I am going to do my toner this is the toner i like to use and then we have the set of feel again this is the moisturizing cream dry to very dry skin obviously my skin is dry as you can tell from the products that i'm using and then last but not least is my sunscreen of course have to have sunscreen this one i got from trader joe's but my favorite sunscreen y'all is by super goop and that's the reason why i got this because this reminds me of super goop but nothing will top the super goop i'm sorry but the only reason why i'm still using this is because i still have some left so when it's gone then i'm gonna go back to my super goop you feel me now sometimes i do add extra hydration you know which will be my um mario Badusco facial spray y'all i love 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 this stuff so much especially this one because they come in a, di a lot of different ones but yeah that is the skincare that's what we're gonna do really quick and then y'all i gotta tell y'all something that is so funny but girl when i tell you you gonna be like oh my goodness you probably saw it already so let's just do our face really quick y'all i love the weekends y'all because that is my time to myself like 
oh just love it i enjoy working as well you know that's fine but i really do look forward to the weekends in the middle of the week i am off one day but most of the time the wednesdays i be like most wednesdays i'm like i'm just chilling like let me get my mind right you know but the weekend baby that's the time to be outside me outside y'all i need a trip before this year is out I have not gone anywhere, I think, except to see my family, but I don't really count that. I mean like a real trip, like a real trip, y'all. I've been really thinking about Chicago, Arizona. It was another, oh, New York. I've been really thinking about those three places. Next step, told y'all, is the toner, which I do a little bit, I don't do a lot. Clap it together and slap. Slap it on my face. I'm so serious, y'all. Like, really push it in there. Shine bright like a diamond. That's what I've been doing. Shine bright like a diamond. I only really have a breakout now around my cycle, which is normal. Other than that, girl, <laughs> your girl out here looking good. <laughs> when I went to the dentist, I don't know why he asked me, am I wearing sunscreen? I'm like... Why are you asking me am I wearing sunscreen? You supposed to be doing my teeth. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, are you wearing your sunscreen? I'm like, yeah. Why is that something that you want to know? I don't know. But my point in bringing it up is, baby, make sure you wear your sunscreen. Okay. Y'all is all up in my business. Y'all look too close. Can you back up some? Can you back up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking y'all, but we are about to do a little one two one two I got brought my computer chair in here y'all because I sold my yellow bar stools What was that like two weeks ago? I didn't even tell y'all but yeah, I sold my yellow bar stools So I had to get some new bar stools now and yeah, your girl just been working from the computer chair for now So that's why I'm in here with the computer chair. What I like to do y'all what works for me Personally, I don't like to do a whole lot of stuff on my face i enjoy showing my natural skin so what i do use though is a tlb the lip bar this is what i use this is in what shade girl i don't even know oh caramel delight you just have an expiration date it do i didn't know oh wow that's nice to know but it has spf in it which is why I'm like, okay, I like this. And it's a skin conditioner, three in one tinted skin conditioner. So it's not foundation and it has SPF, like I said. So what I like to do is put it under my eyes. Cause my eyes is a little red and green. So I just put it there like that. Okay, you probably can't even really tell it's there, but it's there. And then we just gonna take this little brush, I don't know what this is oh it's a concealer brush it is a concealer brush i know a little thing here i know a little thing and then we just gonna do like that you know that's what we gonna do girl we gonna do this and it just makes the under eye just look well put together instead of red looking so yeah that's what i like to do under my eyes <laughs> boring but i have to tell y'all this is what i wanted to tell y'all about have y'all seen this day on cam newton and what's her name dr what's her name i don't know because i've never seen her before dr brian baby when i tell you y'all need to watch this <laughs> i watched one hour and 58 minutes so far this is two hours and 32 minutes i've never heard of her i've never seen her before and another thing i've never seen is a woman speak so well and kind while still educating a man that don't know what he's talking about and i don't like talking about stuff like this y'all because i don't really get into all the social media stuff with the man versus women and relationship talk i don't get into all of that stuff i don't let that stuff affect me in my real life whatever but baby when i tell you it is nice to see a woman put a man back in his place when he just be doing this, cause you know, you have a lot of men online that just got so much to say about women. And that's a whole nother conversation. And Cam Newton to me, he always gave off the vibe that he just think he know everything, girl. And I'm like, ugh. When I, sometimes when I watch his interviews, I think it was the one with Tammy Roman. Is it Tammy Roman? Yeah, y'all know Tammy from Basketball Wives. 
and I watched that one and I was like, why is he so like nitpicky with everything? Like it was like whatever she said, he wanted to say something else to kind of seem like he was right. And he don't like to look like he wrong. Anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to tell y'all. I just had to tell y'all that. Y'all have to check that out. Y'all have to check that out. What is your outlook or your analyst on people who life has lived with? But they just happen to make different decisions. Exactly. That created a more healthier result. This is true. This is true. Just because you was dealt certain cards, it doesn't mean that you have to follow that path. You can break the cycle. So stop using that as an excuse, brother. The girl is back on the cam. Ooh. So I am ready. I comb my hair down. My hair was already done. Um, I tried to do it yesterday, but yeah so let me show you what i'm wearing very simple since we're just doing a few errands or whatever but y'all do y'all see my skin or how it's glowing that's that nivea lotion that i was telling y'all about wow beautiful anyway this is what i'm wearing okay so we are gonna do vanilla woods for our perfume for the day oh I heard that they have some other um, good fragrances by this brand as well, like some coconut one or something. So I don't know, eventually I'll add to the collection, but I just got that one. So we're gonna keep that for now. No lip liner today, y'all. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple and clear. Never go wrong with the Fenty. This is in Sweet Mouth. And I'm thinking, should I bring some cash just in case I have my card? with my Apple Pay, but maybe I should bring cash just in case, girl. Cause what can I fit in here? Nothing, this is just the look cute. Oh, I need to get my Trader Joe's bag as well because I'm gonna do everything while I'm out. All right, y'all, we have our Trader Joe, Trader Joe, Trader Joe. That's gonna be the last stop before we come home because it's some cold stuff that I have to get. So anyway, y'all, let's go. I am going to go get me a salad really quick, y'all. I should have made something at the house, but I got things to do, baby, but I don't feel like going to sit down anywhere right now. So we're going to go to Salad and Go and grab a salad. I love their salads so much, y'all. When I tell y'all it is hot, even though the fall is coming up for a lot of other people, it is not coming up for Houston. That's for sure, for Texas in general. But girl, it is hot, okay? So we're not going to talk a lot in the car today, baby, because I need this air to be on. <laughs> Love, love, love salad and go. Let me lock my doors because you never know who's around. They're very reasonable. I just paid $7.89. I feel like that's really good for a salad. Especially nowadays, y'all. Everything is expensive. Everything is expensive. But let me tell y'all. Oh my goodness. I have something to tell y'all. <laughs> when I tell you. First, let me say my grace. Hold y'all. Hold on, y'all. So anyway, y'all, like I was saying. Yesterday, I called myself trying to go on like a little walk on a trail because i did for the month of what month was that july for the month of july y'all didn't know because i wasn't recording at that time but for the month of july for the entire month i did ten thousand steps every day which equates about four miles for me and i really enjoyed it right so yesterday i was like okay i'm gonna go to do a couple miles walking today and I'm gonna go to a new park that I've never been to, obviously, because I've moved now. Park is really cool, but it is huge. When I say it is huge, <laughs> so I go out there, you know, I got my, my fanny pack on, I'm looking all cute and stuff, well, at least I think I am. I'm like, I'm gonna do like three or four miles, right? Girl, when I tell you I started walking and it seemed like that park, the trail was never ending. It seemed like it was never ending. It took me until I got to about an hour and a half of walking. I'm at like six miles at this point. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm about to cry because I'm so upset. I can't go backwards because that's going to take about an hour and a half to go back. So I'm just keep thinking like, okay, I'm going to just keep walking. I'm going to keep walking. It got to be coming to an end. It got to be coming to an end. Y'all, when I tell you it never came to an end, <laughs> I was so mad, but I was so happy that my phone didn't die because girl, did I call an Uber? I called a Lyft because I'm like, I don't know how much further this is going to go. I'm already frustrated. I'm mad. I feel like I'm about to cry because I feel like I'm just in the middle of nowhere. 
girl i had my mace and everything though but still when i tell y'all i will never do that again lesson learned and i know y'all probably like why you ain't check me before you go out there listen sometimes i just do stuff and don't really think too much into it i just do it and unfortunately i end up in situations like that and i learn my lesson and i will not do it again now will i go back to that park yeah i will go back but when i get to like two miles i know to turn my back around <laughs> We have made it to at home, y'all. So I'm coming in here because I really want some decorative pillows for my bed and a nice throw. I feel like I could probably find that at TJ Maxx or something, but they are also going to have a lot of other things that I think I want to look at. I also want to look at their bar stools because I told y'all I do not have any bar stools right now. So we're just going to see what we can find. You know, this is definitely for the apartment and not just for fun. So yeah, let's see what we can find. One thing for sure, two things for certain, this store will make you spend money if you do not come in here disciplined, okay? This store is huge, okay? It's huge and you can get overwhelmed. So let me just go in the areas that I'm supposed to go in. The first area I wanna look in is for some bar stools. Since I'm over here by the furniture. I think last time I checked in here, I didn't like their bar stools. These are the kind of bar stools I cannot stand. The ones that look like salon chairs, y'all. I do not like them. And I don't know if I want to just do black. I feel like that's just like plain. Um, so far, I'm not seeing anything. I feel like these style just does not look comfortable at all. Like, no. Why would somebody want to sit <laughs> there? So, ugh. I don't like any of these, y'all. I don't like any of these. Y'all, look at all of these pillows. This is crazy. And they're color coordinated in every aisle. <laughs> so I'm looking for like more nude or beige kind of colors. So let's see if we can find that. Ah, this is the aisle I need to be in. Um, Yeah, so I'm looking for the ones for the bed this is the part i do not care for when i move is like decorating the apartment i don't like that part just move me in that's it not gonna yeah i'm a little overwhelmed i thought that i would be okay coming in here because i already know what it's like coming in here but yeah I... <laughs> just give it amazon yeah, y'all, yeah, I'm leaving. I don't feel like it. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Okay, I lied, y'all. I haven't left yet. But $50 is crazy for this. A throw? That is insane. I do want a throw, but I'm not paying $50 for it. So let me see if I can find something a little cheaper. But I really like that waffle look. This is the price I like. $20. But I don't, I don't know if I like this one. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> This one don't look bad. I kind of like this one, y'all. And it's only $30. We have found the pillow aisle. Woohoo! Let's see if we can find something. So, I told y'all that I needed some new pillows for the bed. This is like sleeping pillow. I feel like these are just not going to be good. They're only $3.99, so <laughs> that's already not a good sign. Now, this, this might be worth... Okay, this is only $20. Now, these feel good, y'all. I'm not good with like picking out stuff like this, but I can tell from just the way that feel that this will last a little bit, you know? This not just no cheap looking pillow that gonna turn yellow in two weeks. <laughs> Had to go get me a cart, y'all. I thought I was cute with no cart and looking stupid. So let's get another one. I'm excited. I hope I like these. They're nice though, they're big. Okay, I'm feeling good. I got two things off the list. I got two new pillows and a throw. So, let's leave, check out, and go to the next location. Because we got a lot more places to go. We are going to get these on the strength of Cordell. If you know, you know. Next stop is Ulta. Before I go in here, I need to make sure they have what I'm looking for because I'm not trying to be walking around looking all crazy. I'm actually gonna do the body wash, the Natrium body wash that we talked about in the comments and in my last video when I went to Target because I had to go back to Target to get a few things because I'm missing a few things that I forgot to get. Anyway, that's not the point. I think I wanna get it out of Ulta because Ulta, I actually collect points. You don't get no discount 
from Target. Unless they have some type of rewards or something or an offer going on. Hopefully they do. Oh, they have everything I need. Let's go. I was just talking about this. Yeah, I didn't know they had this in body lotion. But this is the good sunscreen, y'all. It's so loud in here. But let's get what we came for, which is this. I'm excited to try it, y'all. I also wanted to grab fortune cookie in the butter gloss. Let me make sure this is the right one. Yes, this is the one I wanted. This is the eyebrow glue that I was looking for. These are the lip oils I was telling y'all about. The one that I've tried is that one in clear. We're we gonna do another clear because I'm running low. Y'all know I love me a good coupon. I need y'all to tell me, how do y'all know I'm in a super Target? Y'all said it'll be big and it'll have a lot more groceries. This is a big Target. And I don't think this one have as many groceries in there. I was telling myself that I want a new robe, but I don't want nothing too heavy and too crazy. I seen a girl on TikTok wearing this one. I'm gonna show y'all, hold on. Like I was saying, I saw a girl on TikTok wearing this one. This is too thick for me. And it's not sexy. I need something like sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like silk. So let's see if we can find something. I wanted to show y'all. Y'all remember those that shirt I was raving about? Let me show y'all really quick. It is over here in the intimate section. Y'all look at this. I don't have this color. I don't need this right now. This is not why I came in here. But I did want to show y'all. Should I get it? Should I get it? Y'all, this bodysuit feel like skims. I have this color and then I have black. They also have them in um, tank tops. This is the silky robe that I mean, but I don't know, that just look, uh, let me see what size they have here. I would need a small, I don't like this color though. I feel like it needs some lace or something. <laughs> so one of y'all told me to get the book Verity. I don't see it. I heard this is good to me if y'all read that. I have this, I haven't started it yet. Yeah, I don't see it y'all. They said they only had one left, but I don't see it. So I haven't found the book yet, but did y'all think, did y'all think that I was gonna forget to celebrate my move? I told y'all in the next vlog. This is why I really came in here. So far I haven't gotten anything I'm not supposed to get. This was why I came. This is the second thing I was supposed to get. So I'm gonna grab this one since it's closer. Yes, ma'am. This is the next thing I'm supposed to be getting. Look at me, I am doing a great job, honey. I don't like when I can't find what I'm looking for, y'all. Especially when it say it's here. It say it's only one of those books, but I am determined to find the book. So, I am going to come back over here again to see if I can find it. I am still in here, and I was looking for that book all this time, and guess what? Ah! Your girl found it! Baby, we don't give up. We do not give up. So let's leave, it's time to go now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our final destination. I was going to go to the farmer's market as well, but baby, <laughs> no ma'am. later y'all i took a nap <laughs> first of all my camera was going dead so i have literally been outside earlier all day anytime i go outside with a full battery for my camera and it goes dead that means that i didn't ran up that battery i didn't i didn't log a few things so i said okay this is my perfect time to take a nap so i got me a little nap in in case i look a little crazy in the face but I think I still look cute, what do you think? I think so. <laughs> anyway, I did unpack my bags earlier, but you know, I just wanna talk about a few things that I'm just so excited about that I was able to pick up today. I was not able to bring everything in the house because I had so much stuff, y'all. So I have some stuff still in the car, but it should be fine into the morning, girl. I don't think nobody going to steal out of my car. I hope not. If that's the case, I don't need to be living out here. <laughs> You don't have to be hiding, don't be ashamed to say you're too. 
Y'all, I am so excited about this. First of all, girl, I'm happy that I unboxed my bags when I did because this thing was cracked open. This cost too much money for you to be busting open in the bag, girl. I said, oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. But yes, y'all, we finally got it. I know y'all was telling me to try it and I will be so happy that I did. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know if I'm gonna try it tonight. I might try it tonight and then tell y'all how I feel about it in the morning. But girl, I'm excited. But they cheated me out some because this did bust open in the bag. But, ooh, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> so, the good thing about that, y'all, is that I got it on sale. So we already know the original price is $15.99, but I told y'all that I got it out of Ulta. If you know, you know, Ulta have coupons on their website, girl. So I got $3.50 off of this. This ended up being like 12 something. So if you want to get this, you know, save a little bit of coin, don't get it out of Target. Get it out of Ulta and use that discount on their website. Next thing I'm excited about is this, y'all. OMG. This is the glue that I was talking about for your eyebrows. I heard great things about this. Y'all, my boobs look huge in this damn. <laughs> OMG, girl, it's giving. It's giving double D's, y'all. When I gain weight, my boobs get big. I'm trying to lose weight, honestly. But we ain't gonna talk about that, y'all. Okay. I wanna test it out, y'all. Hold on, let me see. What is that in my hair? Y'all wasn't even gonna tell me it was something in my hair. Y'all ain't loyal. Oh, this is gonna be good. I can tell already. Look at the consistency. Look at that. Ooh! Oh yeah, I think I paid ten dollars for this. Let me see. Ooh, one thing about them girls on TikTok, they be knowing what they talking about, baby. Oh, oh, I'm excited, girl. Do I have a smell to it? I don't really have no smell. Okay, y'all. So I'm, I'm gonna recommend this. I'm gonna recommend this. I'm gonna recommend this. This is. This is good, this is good. Another thing I got is the Fortune Cookie Lip Gloss, y'all. I haven't had this in years, but I be seeing the girls do the lip combos with the lip liner, with the brown lip liner, with the Fortune Cookie in the middle. So girl, I'm like, oh, I need to go get me Fortune Cookie because that look good. So we gotta try it out real quick, girl. I wipe my lips off, chestnut, if you know, you know, from MAC. Let's see, y'all, let's see. I know y'all probably like, girls, you really put that on this time of night? It is. It's not even that late. <laughs> I just love my lips. I just love me. I'm so sexy. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> you ever just be looking at yourself like, damn, girl, you is fine. That's how I be looking at myself every day. I be like, damn, girl. God, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. You're sorry, not sorry. But your girl is fine. Okay. Going on 30 looking this good. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, start getting full of myself. Okay, so we're gonna do the fortune cookie. Wait, let me see. Let me make sure. I was gonna do it on here, but let me make sure. Is the brown looking good? It's looking pretty good, right? It's looking pretty good. Let's see. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh, it look milky though. Ooh, ooh, I think I'm gonna like it. Oh, okay, yeah, I see, I see it, I see it, I see what y'all was talking about, I see it, I love TikTok, oh my gosh, this is the bomb together, girl, all you gotta do is put a little bit more lip liner, oh, this is the bomb, this is the bomb, yeah, I love TikTok, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> Baby. Oh, this combo is eaten. Thank you, TikTok. Ooh, and it's gonna look good too with Night Moth. The lip liner Night Moth is like a deep purple. <sighs> I just love being a woman. So we're gonna be cute for the rest of the time. And we're gonna smoke some hookah tonight, y'all. I feel like smoking the hookah tonight. This is just clear, okay? This is just a clear. I told y'all already, this is the e.l.f. Reviver Lip Oil. 
the bomb. It's time to pop the bottle. The battle because we need to celebrate y'all y'all thought that I was not gonna celebrate on camera for me moving in my new apartment I forgot to do it in the last vlog, but baby. I didn't forget this time cheers to new beginnings I said in my speech already. I'm just ready to pour it up. Okay, not gonna lie not gonna lie I'm gonna grab my glass really quick so we can pour it straight into the glass But girl when I tell you this thing get you lit. It's Prosecco y'all baby <laughs> This thing gets you lit on a different level. I need to be careful. I need to be careful, y'all, because I'm talking. But, baby, let me tell you something. Two glasses of this, <laughs> you hitting somebody's phone. <laughs> Asking you what you're doing, and hey, big head, you know? One of those kind of texts. I'm telling you. Don't tell Issa Rae I told y'all that, but you get my point. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers to that baby. Cheers to the freaking weekend. Oh yeah, we did that girl. Let's pour us up some. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, girl. Just a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Let them bubbles get together. Here we go. Now let's keep on going. <laughs> we pouring you all the way up, baby. All the way to the top. We grown around here. We grown. We grown. There we go. We grown. <laughs> I love being grown. I told my boo, I said, isn't it so nice to be an adult sometimes? Except when it's time to pay bills. But it's so nice to be an adult because you can just do whatever you want. Mm. Oh my gosh. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> Let's turn the oven on for the coal. I'm gonna put it right back there. I like to put ice in the bottom of my hookah. And I have a new trick, y'all. So I love putting ice in there. A lot of ice. A whole lot of ice. The next thing I like to do that I recently started doing is adding mint at the bottom of my hookah, y'all. Oh my gosh, it makes a big difference. This is fresh mint. So I need something to push that down because I should have did that first. I have so many different flavors, y'all. We are gonna do um, watermelon and mint together. These two together, bomb. Or they already have, it says watermelon mint on its own and that's good, but I got the mint and then the watermelon and we just gonna mix them together. All right, let's see what it's hitting like. Ooh! <laughs> that thing doing its thing, girl. I ain't gonna do too much because I don't know how YouTube be acting. They be acting funny with certain stuff. But I did want to say this before we go because I'm tired. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna finish watching the podcast that I was watching with that lady I was telling y'all about earlier, Dr. Bryant. I found out that she have a podcast episode with Nick Cannon. Yeah, I need to see that. So I started it earlier. I dozed off. We gonna finish that. But I do want to say this. Y'all know I love doing vlogs on my channel and I feel like I've talked about this before, right? I made a decision to do just vlogs probably like last year. And granted, I do enjoy still doing vlogs, which I'll continue to do. But I feel like I have so much more to offer. Like I feel like I can give my testimonials and my advice to the ladies, especially just how I've been navigating through, I ain't gonna say my life, but just the past couple years, I think I've been doing a very good job with just navigating through certain things and learning and growing and I can share tips, you know, even with me disappearing, coming back better, you know, just little things that I feel like I can offer to women, especially of my age group and older. So I think I wanted to start doing like maybe once a week i don't know we're not gonna commit to it just yet i want to see what y'all think about it but i'm really feeling like i want to do it anyway but like just content based kind of videos where maybe like i'm sitting down and just giving advice on certain topics or sharing certain experiences tips i don't know just something like that in the realm of that kind of stuff you know like sit down girl kind of stuff so um yeah let me know what y'all think about that it will not take over the vlogs the vlogs will still continue because y'all know i love doing vlogs but like i said as i'm getting older i just feel like i need to speak more to women you know good morning good morning to you good morning 
happy Sunday. Y'all, I feel good. Can you tell? Can you tell, girl? Can you tell? I got five hours of sleep, y'all. I went to bed last night at 1.30. After I got off the phone, I was smoking hookah. I started scrolling a little bit on YouTube, watching videos, laid down, scrolled on my phone even more, and ate me a couple ice creams. <laughs> Y'all, I had about three of those ice cream cones last night. So this morning, my stomach hurt a little bit, but it's all good. We still up, we getting ready to go to the gym. As y'all can see, my hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's a you the prettiest, I hope the chill take it wrong. Yeah, I'm too excited. <laughs> it's seven o'clock, y'all. But yeah, we gonna go to the gym. We gonna get our little cardio sesh in, probably a little bit of weightlifting, but primarily, cardio so this is what i was saying i need to do i need to put some spray on y'all this stuff smells so good oh my gosh baby <laughs> if you don't do nothing else go to target and get you some of that vanilla cashmere oh smells delicious so i told myself i am not drinking coffee or matcha this morning i'm gonna make some tea when i get back and some breakfast but we're going on we're going to try to <laughs> See how we can function without the caffeine. <laughs> because I'm trying to cut back, y'all. I'm trying to cut back. I'm trying to keep this jawline nice and tight. If anything, get a little tighter, you know? So, let's go. Two hours later. Sweet lady, won't you be my sweet lover? Hi, down. I'll be there when you need me. Just call and receive me. <laughs> Y'all, I'm back from the gym, obviously. I play too many games. But I have some things I need to do really quick before I get in the shower. First of all, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see. No, y'all can't. It's over there. My flowers that I got yesterday from Trader Joe's, y'all, I did not cut them or put them together. I just stuck them in the water that was already in the vase with the old flowers. I shouldn't have did that, but oh well. I was tired. I ain't feel like doing it. So, I'm going to do that really quick. I am going to do my seasonings that I was supposed to do in my last video. I think the Sunday reset video. Yeah. I never did that. And then it was something else I wanted to do. But I know, I know for sure... I want to make breakfast also so yeah let's do the flowers really quick i don't even think i showed y'all but yeah let me show y'all this is what i mean this is what i did yesterday <laughs> i just stuck them in the water because i didn't want them to die but yeah these are dead look at these this is from one week one week Woo. Them things stink. They stink too, y'all. I'm gonna throw these out, and then we are gonna get these ready. Oh, these make me happy. Look at them, y'all. They so bright and yellow. So stinking cute. But I did used to work in the flower department, y'all. So I know a little one too about flowers. But I don't take good care of my flowers all the time. But I do know some things. I do know a little something. I know a little something. So obviously, this is the food here so the trick with flowers y'all is to cut them at an angle that's what you're supposed to do and i will clean these these are my cooking shears but mind your business girl just focus on the, the things that that matter right now <laughs> i try to get them pretty tight so they can bloom over time so i just clip the stems off obviously you know what i'm saying do a little one two one two and then I like to do this to make sure they're gonna fit good in there. Cause I like mine kind of tight. So we need to cut. Let's just cut that much off. I will clean up my mess. Uh, That should be good, what you think? That should be good? Yeah, that should be good. So I used to work at Farm Fresh, right? And I used to be a cashier and I used to do so good that the lady in the flower department one day she was like oh my gosh i love your work ethic typically i don't ask people to help me like she was super independent people used to always want to go over there and help her and she used to always tell them no <laughs> so when she approached me and she was like i would love for you to help me during valentine's day and during the main holidays 
over in the flower department. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah, I really pay attention to people and I love your work ethic. And you know, I want you to help me. So I'm all excited, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my goodness, because I felt honored because nobody, y'all, when I say nobody ever helped this lady because she always told them no, I felt like, oh yeah, she must really rock with me, right? So anyway, make a long story short, y'all. She showed me the ins and outs, um, you know, how to take care of the flowers and everything, and I helped her with the holiday. I helped her every holiday, especially Valentine's Day. But baby, when I tell you that flower work is a different type of work, I just knew it was going to be so much fun. And it was fun, but it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Going back and forth from the coolers to grab the flowers from the back, organizing them, cutting the stems. Man, oh my goodness, y'all. I commend anybody that works in a flower shop. Like, baby, that, that's a different type of job there. So, anyway, that's my little story time. <laughs> and that's why I love flowers. That's where my love for flowers really came from. They just make me so happy. It might look a little funny only because they still tight. So, we got to give them some grace. They looking a little skimp right now. Yeah, they looking skimp. They looking like somebody don't love them. But I love them. So that's all that matter. <laughs> they look so funny over here. But they are going to open up and it's going to be cute. So for now, that's where they're going to be. So now we are going to do the seasonings, y'all. I told y'all that I got the new, um, what is these called? Labels. And I need to redo my seasonings. I'm going to actually purchase more seasonings when i do my grocery haul because i need a lot of stuff y'all well not really i just need a few things but this is looking a little tacky you see how some of the, the paper is like coming off you know we're gonna redo all of that so yeah that's the plan and that's what we are about to do so these two clearly are done i need to dump that out and then switch it for these two. These might be a little too big, huh? What do y'all think? They look a little big, don't they? Oh, it should work, I guess. It should work. I be trying to be a perfectionist, y'all, and sometimes that just does not get me anywhere. So anyway, I'm gonna do these, y'all. I'm not gonna talk through each one, but yeah. So far, so good. No, I didn't, no, I'm telling you. Oh, I nigga, need every you. day. You gonna get this awesome, nigga. Every 20-something <laughs> like hours a day. Expressing disapproval <laughs> or suggesting that something is not good. All right, y'all, so I am all done. We are looking good. I need to re-up on a lot of seasonings. I need to get more of these jars, though, because that whole top row need to be filled. Oh, let's make some breakfast. We have beef, y'all. I just got out the shower, and I did use the uh what is it natrium natrium whatever the glowy body wash that y'all raved about for me to buy for 15.99 yeah that i don't know i don't think i, I don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> y'all know i'm gonna keep it real all the way real. I don't think it was worth $15.99. Now, even though I got it on sale with the $3.50 coupon from Ulta I told y'all about, I'm talking about the original price before a coupon. Do I feel like it's worth $15.99? No, I do not. Now, unless I need to be combining it with the oil in the lotion to really get the full-on glowy experience. <laughs> Then otherwise, y'all, I'm laughing because my nigga eyelash keep trying to come off. If it fall off in the middle of me talking, then let it fall. But girl, it just... Now, I'm not going to act like it wasn't good at all. It wasn't trash. Like, I enjoyed the feeling. I was like, oh, this is... This is nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was feeling real good, silky, and smooth. But for me... What I thought was going to happen was when you get out the shower, you still have that buttery feeling. It's like once I got dry and dried off with the towel, I didn't still feel, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't still giving hydration. <laughs> and I've had body washes when I get out and it's like, ooh, I still feel like, you know, glowy and soft. I didn't get that once I rinsed off. It felt great going on. 
it was nice. I was in there, you know what I'm saying, rubbing down. But I don't know, y'all. Am I having too many high expectations? Because for $15.99, it need to be singing, dancing, glowing, glistening. I need, I should be coming out of the shower looking like a glazed donut. As, as, as much money as it costs. <laughs> y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. And that's all I got to say. And don't be trying to tussle with me either. <laughs> now let's make some breakfast, y'all. Because I, I had to let y'all know. That was the first thing I said. I said, I can't wait to get on this camera and tell them about how I feel. So now we can eat. Okay? <laughs> y'all, I said, I ain't bringing out my new pans today. We just going to use this for breakfast today. So these are the chicken sausages that I absolutely love from Trader Joe's. I didn't pick any up yesterday because I didn't see any in stock. But I was happy that I picked up two packs the last time I went. So I had an extra one already in the freezer. So I'm going to just let those cook, y'all. I don't put anything in the pan. Just let them do their thing. Flip them. And then, you know, look cookie some more. And then that's it. And that's it. Nice, simple, and easy. And then we're going to make our eggs in this same pan. And probably some fruit on the side. All right, y'all, so these are done. I am going to clean this pan and we're gonna do our eggs in the same pan, baby. We are going to do two eggs. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. Beat those things right on up. I like to season my eggs after they are already in the pan. I found out about that from my girl Ash. She a chef. So she was the one that told me to do that. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'm just listening to her since she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Something I have been doing different with my eggs is putting butter and garlic and onions in the pan before I put the eggs in there, y'all. It is so good. I ran out of garlic, y'all. I'm kind of mad about that, but whatever. So we are going to do some onions. Yummy. And then we are going to add our eggs. So far, y'all, I love these dishes. I told y'all I was going to let y'all know. But they wash really well and they don't stain. So I think it was worth the money. Yeah, I just let them cook like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, y'all. Not a lot. Because my stomach be, girl... That's a conversation for another day, girl. That's a conversation for another day. While we wait, we are going to go ahead and cut us up some grapefruits. I am going to do half. That should be a good amount. Watch this, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh! I love me some fruit, y'all. Love me some fruit. I'm going to cut it one more time. Yum. So that is the fruit. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. So my eggs are done. I'm gonna just put those on top of my sausages. And this is my breakfast. Let's eat. I don't be judging me either with that hookah in the back. Y'all already know I was smoking some hooks last night. Just don't focus on that, okay? <laughs> but I did wanna say to y'all, are y'all tuned into Love Island and Love is Blind? Because baby, well, Love Island USA is over already, but I just love, you know, some of the cast members um, from that season. But Love Island, no, Love is Blind UK on Netflix, the season um, reunion is tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Mm. Y'all, the onions with the eggs, bomb. Bomb. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, y'all. I feel like I've been running around since yesterday, just moving and just doing a lot, girl. Just doing a lot. So, anyway, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Y'all, not me forgetting to close the vlog. How could I forget about y'all? I got distracted. I didn't do nothing yesterday on Sunday. I just relaxed and chilled out. So, I don't even remember what was the last thing I was talking about. But, today is Monday, so y'all already know what that means. It's time to go back to work. <laughs> it was fun with y'all, though. I think we got a good amount of footage. Hopefully, we did. I feel like we did a little something-something. It wasn't a lot, but it was a little something. So, maybe by the hour, possibly. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, 
anyway if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you do not like the video give me a thumbs up i appreciate y'all for what clicking on that video and i will see you guys in my next in my next 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 <laughs> vlog y'all need to be paying me for this voice because i be hitting some notes for y'all now say i don't Say I don't. I wish you would. <laughs> Bye, y'all.